I'm very excited. Our next guest, she comes from, from Toronto. Tamara Cronus is the owner of Studio 1098. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me. Awesome. Cool. I'm excited because jewelry is um, something I absolutely love, but I know I don't know a lot about in terms of how to how to pair things up with different wardrobes or how to use um, certain things to kind of add to a wardrobe where it's not too much. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that... Um, you can help me with. Yeah, I'm really excited <laughs> to talk to you about it. Cool. Because um, I understand that you perform, yeah. and so sometimes you want to have a low-key, kind of casual, not performing look, and right. sometimes you want to make a statement. Mm -hmm. So what I did today is I brought you three looks that are going to wow. go with your outfit okay. um, that can go a bunch of different speeds. So do you want to start with the boldest? or sure. what? What, yeah. kind of, what kind of mood are you in? Bold, um, let's do bold. Okay. Yes. So for bold, what I brought you is this black onyx and 18 karat white gold necklace. And what is great about it, I'm going to put it on you. Okay. Um, what's great about it is is that it's just a total statement piece. So I'm just going to switch this so around. What's really cool about your jewelry, Tamara, is we were talking off camera. Everything that you guys sell has been made in-house. Yes, so yeah. we make everything by hand. So this is great, like it's a really strong, oop, I'm gonna straighten it out, but it's a really strong, bold look. Goes really well with your outfit, nice, bold, geometric shapes. Right. And uh, to go with it, because um, you've got great hair, uh, <laughs> we would give you these black okay. diamond earrings, which would make it a real, awesome, like right. a really, really, really bold, mm -hmm. kind of very glamorous, but very um, modern, funky, hip kind of look. Okay, cool. So that's look number one. And this um, this necklace actually looks heavy, but it's it's not so heavy. No, which is really nice. No, it's it's yeah. actually it's quite light and it's really easy to wear. Right. This is actually a necklace um, that um, Michelle Nolden from Saving Hope wore oh, last year for the Canadian wow. Screen Awards. Okay, uh, cool. Which is was really 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 fun wow. to get a chance to see that. Right. So. A little bit more of a colorful but strong vibe is this uh, garnet, garnet and yellow gold necklace. Okay. And um, it's actually inspired by, there's a, a Harry Winston necklace. Harry Winston's a very fancy jeweler. Okay. And it is inspired by this total diamond, diamond, diamond necklace. Oh, wow. And so we decided to do a take on it that would have kind of really interesting drapey kind of fabric look. Mm -hmm. And that gives you some yeah. like some color, so it yeah. kind of punches the outfit up. And if you wear sort of like a purple lipstick with it, then it's kind of a very sophisticated oh, okay. look. And for earrings, you could wear uh, these garnets, cool. the matching earrings, oh, yeah. if you wanted to go really upscale, or if you wanted to keep sort of some of the funky look. What we've got uh, here is a stack of bracelets. Mm -hmm. that would there's a stack of bracelets that are all sort of in those colors right or if you wanted to also follow one of the major trends this year on the red carpet is bare here and big statement earrings and bracelets and so you could try that as well Oh, interesting okay yeah. you could also pair the um black diamond earrings that i showed you before with the other stack of bracelets that we've got oh i see so that's kind of that's sort of look number two okay and for look number three I brought you something low-key-ish. Okay. Um, so something that's still going to be noticeable, but uh, this necklace, which is an aquamarine, is sort of one bold, special jewel. Right. And it will go... Oh, pretty. It, it's sort of a just a, a very, a, you know, a nice burst of color. Yeah. And then to go with it, there is cool. over here... There is um, this bracelet which has uh, rose cut sapphires and will also echo off of the necklace and off of the uh, off the necklace and also off of what you're wearing, okay, which is cool. nice because you're wearing this great spring, yeah. lovely color palette. Like you're wearing jewel tones, which okay. is terrific. Cool, nice. That's good to know. And I'm curious. So you you do custom jewelry mm -hmm. as well. Um, what is the process for someone to come to you guys and say this is this is something or maybe they don't know what they want But they want like a necklace. What's the process that you guys go through? So usually what happens is people who come to me know what 
part of their body they want to adorn. So it's either right. a necklace or bracelet or an engagement ring or a wedding that's coming mm -hmm. up. And they have some sense of what the direction they want to go in. So okay. they want to do something statement or elegant or colorful. Right. Um, and they usually typically have a direction and a budget. Okay. And then what we do is just sit down and figure out options. And my goal okay. is to make it so that people get a chance to make informed and thoughtful choices awesome. and that it's a fun process. Right, cool. And so you are going to take us through how to clean, how to take care of our jewelry. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that um, a lot of, well, I overlook. I don't take care of my jewelry at all. But I'm excited. Um, show us uh, different things that we can do with our jewelry to maintain its longevity. So one thing that is really important with jewelry is because all of the different stones and different pieces have different hardnesses and mm -hmm. different toughnesses, they're, they're sort of durable to different extent. Okay. It's nice to store your jewelry separate from each other. So okay. store your costume jewelry separate from your um, fine jewelry. Right. Um, necklaces, if you can, hanging them on hooks, even if you just want to bang nails into the wall or do a series of code hooks and hang your necklaces from there, it'll make okay. it much easier for them to not get tangled. Right. Now, if your jewelry, if your necklaces do get tangled, there is a really easy way to um, to untangle it, or mm -hmm. reasonably easy, using just a simple pin. Okay. So what you do, if you have, so I brought a chain that we, we tied a knot. We tied two <laughs> knots in the chain. Um, and if what you do is just take the pin and stick it through the knot, mm -hmm. um, let's see, this worked at home, then what you can do is just get in there, and once you get it through the knot, right. what you'll be able to do is just play around with it, okay. and then out comes ah, the knot. So that perfect. was one knot, and then there's a second one here, okay. but you get the general idea. Yeah. And it's just you put the pin in, mm -hmm. play around with it, and awesome. the knot will... Um, the knots generally will come right out. We have a rule that says the first time that um, we unknot a necklace for a client, we don't charge. But after that, we charge just to make sure that they'll store oh. it properly. <laughs> <laughs> sort of anyone can anyone can have this happen once. Awesome. Um, and it's just being careful to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Excellent. Now, um, the other thing that we get, so we make wedding bands. We make a lot okay. of custom wedding bands. And one of the things that guys really like is they really like... Um, you know, with the nice white wedding bands, they like having a matte finish. Right. And because it looks so nice, mm -hmm. right? But matte finish wedding rings are really a lot like stainless steel fridges. So right. every single mark on them shows. That's true. So what I brought was I brought something that most people have in their ho in their kitchens, right? Mm -hmm. Like you've got a scouring pad to get stuff off of like stuff off of dishes. Right. And not a lot of people know that you can use that to put a matte finish back on jewelry. Oh. So if you have matte finished jewelry and it's not plated, like this will only work with sil like, ster right. like solid sterling silver or okay. solid white gold jewelry. And you have to make sure it's dry. Mm -hmm. But what you can do is you just look at where the, the, the marks are. Okay. And I don't know if we can zoom in on where these marks are. You can see that there's um, some you can see here that there's some marks across oh, yeah. there. Okay. And all we do is, and you have to do it in a direction, but you can just um, take your 3M pad and marks are gone. Amazing. And it's just awesome. like new. So this is, again, something that you can do to maintain your jewelry that's right. in a specific kind of jewelry. Cool. For things and that are... Um, actually, unfortunately, yeah. we ran out of time. Can you please tell us where we can find Studio 1098? Sure. So we're at, um, we're at 1098 Young Street. We're in the eastern suburb of Mississauga called Toronto. Okay. Um, and we're located in between St. Clair and Bloor. Amazing. And you can also find us online. Excellent. Awesome. So make sure you guys check out Studio 1098 and say hi to Samira and get some custom jewelry made. Thank you so much Thanks for being so here. Thanks so much for having me.